Yeah, look, look, look I've got to go, so I, I won't be to work today. Yeah. Yeah, you're sorry. Yeah, yeah. bye. Hang on. You know, the trouble with my dad is he doesn't like the competition. What man does? And let's face it, he's got his work cut out with that pole. Would anyone mind if I paid for my newspaper? What's wrong? You know that rapist, Frank Bernard? He just smiled at me. Oh, you're joking. Right, that's it. Where is he? Well, he's gone. Perhaps he was just trying to be pleasant. Sashing a rat more like it. How do you mean he smiled at you? I don't know. He just smiled at me and then got on the bus. He thought shouldn't be allowed on public transport. I wouldn't want to sit next to him. Oh, for heaven's sake. He wouldn't have been released if they thought he would do it again. Read the papers recently. Perhaps I should get a rape alarm. £4.75. I've just had them delivered. And what about self-defence classes? Uh, there's bound to be one in Hotton. Well, better still, we should have our own. We'll only have to find an instructor. Mm. Could I just pay for my paper? Oh, get him. You're such a liberal, Ashley. Yeah, well, he's not a woman, is he? Mm. He's still in shock, pet. You said yourself you went too far. Just for a change, like. <laughs> How do you fancy breakfast and a chat? Not if your cooking hasn't improved. I still haven't got over your devil dicks. I meant at the cafe. If I can manage it. Are you all right? I will be when I've got you two sorted out. Mena, I'm just going to change. Gosh, there'll be plenty of ale. Yeah, yeah, spirits. Come on, when have I ever failed you? Huh? OK, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Hellfire. Guess who that was? Income support. Elvis. Apparently the house has burned down. Eh? So he's asked me to host the party next Tuesday. He, what an honour. Eh? Have you forgotten? Somebody died at the last one. That was an accident, wasn't it? Eh? Well, that's what we told the police, remember? I've forgotten about that. Next Tuesday, you say? Aye. Not much time, then. Exactly. Oh, I was just on my way out, actually. I thought I'd keep Mr Turner company. He spark out. Well, I'll just sit with him. I don't mind, honest. It's my day off. Lucky you. I wish I had a day off. Oh, here, seeing as how you're here. You wouldn't give him his tablets, would you, when he wakes up? Save me popping back? If you could give him four of those. Seems like a lot. Yeah, well, he's a big man. And he's in a lot of pain. Right. Well, I'll be off. Oh, if you get bored, just let yourself out. I promise you he won't notice. I can't believe you've been like this, Dad. He's your son. I don't know him. You didn't know Benice, but that didn't stop you bending over backwards. That was different. I always knew I had her. Yeah, and Benice wasn't gay, was she? This has got nothing to do with him being gay. And please don't try and lecture me on something you can't possibly understand. He's not only your son, Dad, he's my brother. Whether you have a relationship with him, then I can't do it. Morning. Ah, I was wondering if we could chalk wine. <laughs> Certainly. You're bang out of order. And I never thought I'd say this, but I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> Kids, eh? <laughs> yeah, it must be hard having such a, well, colourful son. The word is gay, Zach. Sounds like it bothers you. Well, don't get me wrong, it'd bother me if one of mine were that way inclined. <laughs> I've known lots of gay people. Being on the road, you meet all sorts. Yeah, they get everywhere. Now, what I meant was, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, well, they weren't your son, were they? I've been lucky so far, mate. Yeah, touch wood. Imagine a gay dingle, eh? <laughs> anyway, what was that about wine? Yeah. Now, we need a shed, Lord. Going cheap. Yeah, very cheap. Look, nobody told us that these handbags were dodgy. Oh, exactly. We just work here. And we've got a right to know what's going on. Ah, oh, you certainly took your time. I had to pop down to the bank, B and B business. Well, me dad couldn't go, could he? <laughs> How very convenient. Oh, shut up, you lot! 
thank you. Seeing this is all your own mess, you can sort it out. Where's he going? Never rely on a man, Dawn. I thought you, of all people, would know that. Look, we just want to know what's going on. That is all. Everything is under control. Yeah, right. All right, we're all going down for five years, possibly ten. Is that what you want to hear? No, obviously not. I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to take some sorting out. So, in the meantime, I suggest you all go home. I will ring you tomorrow. We've got no choice, have we? She definitely said to give you four tablets. He only says two on the bottle. How many do you normally have, Mr Turner? Best be on the safe side, eh? I'll just give you two. But you can't go yet. I'm only just getting to know you. Tell him he's got to stay. Why don't you just go and talk to him? I tried talking to him last night, but look where that got me. Yeah, but you were in Thelma Louise mode, remember? Very scary. Mm. Oh, come on. You know it's worth giving another go. If only for my sake. Please. Yeah, all right. But if I get nothing, that's it. It takes two to tango. Give me another drink, will you? I can't believe I've got myself in this mess. I must have been mad. OK, so we've got a hitch. <laughs> a hitch? It's a little more than just a hitch. I could get ten years for this. Don't be so dramatic, Eric. Three years tops, two with good behaviour. Hmm. Said like a seasoned pro. Look, this factory would have gone down the swanee months ago if it hadn't been for me. At least all I'd be looking at is bankruptcy, not a prison sentence. Didn't do Geoffrey Archer any harm. He managed to get a book out of it. I shall make sure that you take the entire rap. You see, unlike you, I've got an untarnished record. I have been mayor, a councillor, an upstanding member of this community until I met you. You have led me astray, Stephanie. At least that's what I'll be telling the judge. You wouldn't. I think you'll find the legal term is duped. My solicitor thinks I have a very good case. I'll leave you to lock up. Possibly for the last time. Under surveillance. <laughs> What's he up to? Look, I better go with one help him. Right. Yeah, Frank, look. You give me the tin and glass. You go get the foot. Okay. <laughs> Since when have you been a window fitter? It's the least I can do. OK, well, look, you go back inside. I can manage on my own. Right, come on. Never had Lindana as a mug. Oh, been there, though, mate. <laughs> Something for yourself. Forgetting about Zoe, are you? Yeah, cheers for reminding me about that one, mate. Yeah. Hey, it's fancy a pun later on. I was thinking maybe starting the you then move on to Otten. Oh, I can't. I said I'd babysit for dawn tonight. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all right then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what are you going to tell her? Oh, I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh, you know me. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, well, how much capital are you trying to raise? That much? Whew. Pretty high stakes, then. Sure, sure, yeah. What other investors have you got? Ah, he's involved, is he? Yeah, hang on a minute. Did you want something? Yeah, I was wondering if we could talk. Not now. I'm on the phone. It's fine, I'll wait. 
Well, it's a business call. It may take some time. No problem, ma. Huh? I'll make some coffee. I hope they get it sorted out soon, because I can't afford not to be earning any money. And what about me? I've got a mortgage to pay and a baby that needs feeding. I'm trying to phone you. Uh, quiet, please, Louise. Sure. What for? Uh, I can't babysit tonight. Oh, great. We're supposed to be going out. Sorry. Well, why can't you babysit? Well, I said I'd go out for a drink with Sid. I arranged it ages ago. I just forgot about it, so uh, I can't really let him down. But you can let me down. Well, why don't you get a bottle of wine? Have a girly night in. We want a girly night out. Well, I'll babysit tomorrow for you, OK? Tell me about it. Sit down. I'll, uh, I'll put cash on there. Sit down. I take it you're Frank? Uh, yeah. I'm Diane. Uh, excuse me, I, I'll just go to my room. I saw Jarvis outside. I hope he's got a warm sleeping bag for later. Stupid man. <laughs> Thanks for coming. My pleasure. I won't beat about the bush. I'm here because I understand you've been barred from the pub in my absence, like... We've been barred from everywhere. Yeah. Well, the ban's been lifted. From the wool pack, anyway. Oh, you don't have to. I know I don't. But you two are good customers. Last thing I want to see is my bar takings go down. Silly beggars, all of them. Hmm. Anyway, look, how are you? You know, after the op. Well, put it this way, when you've been through what I've been through, not a lot phases you. Speaking of which, I'll skip the tea if you don't mind. I'm feeling a bit tired. Sorry to rush off like. Thank you so much, Diane. I'm not saying I understand what he did, Pearl. But I know what being a mother feels like. Anyway, if you're staying round here, people are going to have to start to accept him, aren't they? You take care, eh? Hello. Hello. Oh, bless her. That was nice. Hmm. No. 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 Oh, no, Shelley. It's all right, Mr Turner. I'm here. I thought I saw the other week. I told Steph, but she said I was mistaken. She hadn't seen her in weeks. She's killed her. No, she hasn't. She's just gone away. Where's Shelley? Do you want me to show you the paper to you? Steph will be back soon. Finished? Yep. Coffee? No, thanks. Do you want to sit down? No, thanks. I'd rather stand. Look, I hope this isn't going to take long, because I really should be getting back to the barn. Look, I'm sorry about last night. I think I might have been a bit full on. Well, you were certainly there. But I think you overreacted. Yeah? Well, I'm not used to being accosted by a man in a skirt. Sorry. We should get out more. Look, I think maybe we should both agree to disagree on this, eh? Well, if that's it. Whether you like it or not, you're still my father, Rodney. So everybody keeps telling me. Surely we can have a civilized conversation. You know, man to man. I, uh, 
I, I know how difficult this is for you, and I can only apologize for what happened. It was disgraceful. Anyway, it got me thinking. What if I organize a friendship group? What do you mean? A group of volunteers meet once, twice a week. It's a way of easing, say, offenders back into the community. <laughs> I don't think you get many techers in this village. Anything's worth a go. Go? Oh. Good, good. I'll get straight on to it, then. Oh, um, Vicar, this is my son. Frank. Anyway, I I'll pop in tomorrow, let you know how I've got on. Right. Then... Bye for now. See you, Vicar. And what did he want? Something about a friendship group. Uh, don't hold your breath, though, lad. Emily. So, did you get any sense out of him? Not really. He said a lot of strange things, mainly about Shelley. Yeah, well, she's the reason he's in this state in the first place. Running out on him like that. You could say she dealt him his final blow. I'll never forgive her. He thinks he can hear her. He also thinks he sees angels. He saw a snake one night. I can't tell you the last time I can remember having a good night's sleep. And he's not all I have to worry about. The factory's gone pear-shaped and all. You did say to give him four tablets. Only I noticed on the bottle it said two. Yeah, well, the doctor upped the dose. Look, sweetheart, I have had a tough day. I'm tired. Things aren't always as bad as they seem. Yeah. And sometimes they are. I don't want to be rude. Would you mind letting yourself out? As far back as I can remember, I've always had this dream about having a normal family. <laughs> you know, mum, dad, Sunday dinner around the table. A few rows, but... Underneath, all of us caring for each other. You've been reading too many romantic novels. Nobody ever has that. Yes, they do. Well, I didn't. Look, I know we'll never be the Walters. Oh, but we... We're certainly never going to be them. Not by a long chalk. But... But what? I'd really appreciate it if you'd just give me the chance to get to know you a bit better. That's all I'm asking. <sighs> you know that... Uh... Sam's invited Solomon. Hmm? What's she invited him for? Well, it'd be good to him while he was in prison. Little Sammy would never have survived in there without him. No, actually. Who stopped him being a boy, though? And trouble. In fact, if I were you, I'd hide your valuables. What valuables? Out that isn't nailed down. He's what you might call a, a collector. Hey, to be on the safe side, put all the sharp knives away. He's got this thing about them. Are you trying to wind me up? No, of course I'm not. I just didn't want him to spoil the party. Well, he'll check more than Solomon to spoil this party. <laughs> it's a way of integrating him into the community. Yeah, but no one wants him in the community, Ashley. Surely the whole point is to get rid of him. Exactly. I'll come to the friendship group, Ashley. Well, you can count me out. I'm surprised at you, Emily. Oh, don't have a go at her. She says a good in everybody. A very admirable trait. What I mean is she's a pushover. Who wants to be friends with a rapist? Nobody. Well, not unless you're Billy No Mates. I'll ignore that remark. Well, I hope you're not getting funding for this. What about you, Paddy? No, no, pass. It, actually, I don't even think Emily should be quiet. What about you? Well, I'll, I'll give it some thought. No need to be polite, just tell him you're not going. Okay. Okay, so I'm your father. Big deal. It is a big deal to me, Rodney. Oh, come on. You hardly know me. That's the point, isn't it? OK. OK, so where do we go from here? Huh? Hey? Oh, come on. You've obviously got a plan. Do we stand here and talk about how I wasn't there for you when you were growing up and what a cow your mother was and still is, if it comes to that? 
There's no way we can recapture that lost time. It's gone forever. Best thing you can do is to get over it. Like you have, you mean? Yes! Absolutely! One thing about me, Paul, I'm a pragmatist. Then how come you're so angry? Because I can't stand you hounding me. You're a 30-year-old man, for God's sake, not a little boy. Yeah, and you're not a 21-year-old stud anymore, either. Go, grow up, will you? What's that supposed to mean? What do you think it's supposed to mean? You have responsibilities. You're not batting me away like you have everyone else. Don't be so hysterical. Oh, I see. I'm not supposed to have emotions. Well, that's up to you. But I think you'll find that real men keep them to themselves. They don't throw tantrums. And that's what this is really all about, isn't it? That's just the kind of remark I'd expect from someone like you. I didn't ask to be your son, Rodney. I just am. Fact. Deal with it.